Good morning, folks. We've got a platter of top science news today that spans from climate science to Earth's catastrophe cycle. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find that the sun is entering a period of quiet. Always nice to get these week-long stretches, happens a couple times a year during sunspot maximum, where the equatorial coronal hole and the major sunspots are all on the far side. Solar flaring is dropping out as the sunspots disappear over the limb and the solar wind has only minor perturbations coming in the next couple of days. So let's go to methane and find mainstream climate science spinning in circles. Turns out the root system of the Amazon is a titanic methane release point, and this was thought to only be the case when there was major flooding. Here we find a contrast between the need for trees and a boogeyman climatologists have identified. Wonder which way their propaganda will pull them. Up next, we move from a major problem identification to a major solution identification. They're finding the observational data in need of vastly more energy input from the sun during the September 2017 solar storms. Yes, they practically ignore the majority of the proton forcing in favor of medium and low energy electrons, but the rest energy of a proton is about 1,800 times the rest energy of an electron. This is an enormous aspect of solar forcing input of energy that is missed in the atmospheric models, just as the papers said. These next papers hit on both space weather and catastrophism. The IMF forcing of plasma density and penetrating electric fields is another underutilized energy source in climate models, but it's the galactic version of the IMF that triggers the disaster in the first place, recurring over and over again the exact way that Dr. Tinsley explained it picks a pole and pounds it in terms of the climate forcing. It affects atmospheric energization and night glow as well. The ambient energetic state of the atmosphere, which is a heck of a thing to imagine on a star, taking that forcing at the galactic level. The IMF controls polar cap arcs as well, as means to further touch those layers below through the electromagnetic coupling. Of course, it's obvious that in climate, these items play into how they underappreciate the sun and end up giving that attribution to human pollution. In catastrophism, it helps us understand why the galactic current sheet brings at least three and maybe four different triggers of a stellar outburst. Speaking of those, these are the planetary nebula featured in Chandra's latest release, a misnomer if there ever was one. They have nothing to do with planets. These are stars that shed their shells and remain inside to go boom again one day. Speaking of which, one of the most important and undenied aspect of those three or four things is accretion, accumulation, the change of the stellar environment from one circumstance to another, resulting in an explosion. And as always, this results in a major outbursting and luminosity change in the star they've seen here today. Remember, there is a dust and gas and plasma component coming with the sheet, changing the environment. There's the galactic magnetic reversal coming with the sheet, which may disrupt the solar wind and cause it to accumulate in the corona. The magnetic flip and various aspects of the plasma density variation could then re-instigate the outflows or trigger a deflagration explosion. We have seen all of these things in space. We've seen the nearby stars going off one by one in a line right at the sun. The interplanetary dust, sun, and all the planets are changing under the effect of this sheet currently reversing the galactic magnetism of our system, and it is only a matter of time until the sun shakes off its outer layer, surges in luminosity, and has its own cyclical outburst. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.